In this lesson, we're going to learn about probability of an equally likely outcome. And this is a continuation of the previous lesson. So the probability of an equally likely outcome equals the number of ways the outcome could occur divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So when you throw a fair dice, there are six equally likely outcomes. Since in a die, you have it numbered from one to six. So um, for example, the probability of getting a six equals one over six. Why? Because there is a single six on a diet. All right. And also the probability of getting a one or the two when you throw a fair dice is one over six plus one over six because the probability of getting a one on a dice is one over six and the probability of getting a two is also one over six. So when you add up, you get 2 over 6, and when you simplify, you get 1 over 3. Example 1. A bus contains a set of cards numbered 1 to 10. One card is picked at random. What is the probability that a card drawn will be a number less than 4? So um, remember that the probability of an equally likely outcome equals the number of ways the outcome could occur divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So in this case, the total number of possible outcomes equals 10 because there are 10 different possible outcomes altogether. We have the cards numbered from 1 to 10. So um, the probability that the card drawn will be a number less than 4, um, there are three possible outcomes that give you a number less than 4. The number of ways possible of getting a number less than 4 is 3 because you have number 1, 2, and 3 to be less than 4. So the probability that the card drawn will be a number less than 4 is simply 3 divided by 10. 3 is the number of ways possible, and 10 is the total number of possible outcomes. Also, what is the probability that the card drawn will be a, an odd number? Now, from 1 to 10, you have odd numbers, which are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. That's a total of five of them. So the number of ways you could get an odd number from the set of cards numbered 1 to 10 is 5. And the total number of possible outcomes is 10. So 5 divided by 10, when you simplify, you get 1 over 2. Example 2. Tom has a bag that contains seven yellow balls, four green balls, five red balls, and two red black balls. It takes a ball at random from the bag. What is the probability that Tom will take a ball that is red? So the first thing we need to do is to calculate the total number of possible outcomes. So we take the sum of all the balls given. 7 plus 4 plus 5 plus 2. That will give us 18 balls. So altogether we have 18 balls. So the probability that Tom will take a ball that is red is simply the number of ways possible, which is 5 because we have 5 red balls. So we have 5 divided by 18. 18 is the total number of possible outcomes. The probability that Tom would take a ball that is green is also 4 divided by 18. When you simplify, you get 2 over 9. The probability that Tom would take a yellow ball, we have 7 yellow balls in the bag, is simply 7, which is the number of ways possible, divided by the total number of possible outcomes. You can simplify, so you leave your answer like that. Um, then finally, the probability that Tom would take a ball that is red or black. We have five red balls and we have two black balls. So that's um, 5 plus 2 divided by 18. So that will give you 7 over 18. Example 3. So you have a spinner numbered from 1 to 6. And you're required to find the probability of spinning a 3 or a 6. So um, since the spinner is numbered from 1 to 6, it therefore means that the total number of possible outcomes equals 6. Now the number of ways possible you could get a 3 on the spinner is 1. And the number of ways possible you could get a 6 on the spinner is also 1. But the probability of spinning a 3 is 1 over 6. The probability of spinning a 6 is also 1 over 6. So when you add up, you get 2 over 6, and when you simplify, that gives you 1 over 3. Now, what is the probability of spinning an odd number? Now, the odd numbers you have on this spinner 
are 1, 3, and 5. So the number of ways possible you could get an odd number on this spinner is 3 divided by 6. 6 is the total number of possible outcomes. And when you simplify, you get 1 over 2. What is the probability of spinning an even number? The probability of spinning an even number equals the number of ways possible divided by the total number of possible outcomes. The number of ways possible you can get an even number on this spinner is 3 because you have 2, 4, and 6 as the even numbers. So 3 divided by 6 will give you 1 over 2. Example 4. A card is picked at random from the set of numbered cards below. What is the probability that it is a number greater than 4? So the first thing we need to do is to get the total number of possible outcomes. We need to count all the cards to see how many we have. So um, the total number of possible outcomes equals 15. So it doesn't matter if the numbers are repeated or if you have cards with the same number. So you count all together. So we have 15. So um, the number of ways possible we can get a number greater than 4. I'm going to read out to you the numbers that are greater than 4. We have 7, 5, 15, 20, 6, 7, 6, 10, 8, 7, and 5. So we have 11 numbers that are greater than 4. So the number of ways possible um, that you can pick a number greater than 4 is 11. So that's 11 divided by the total number of possible outcomes, which is 15. Also, what is the probability that it is an odd number? Um, so you need to check out for the odd numbers. Check out for the cards with um, an odd number on it. So I'm going to read out the odd numbers to you. We have 7, 5, 15, 3, 7, 1, 7, and 5. So altogether, we have 8 numbers, which are odd. So the number of ways possible of getting an odd number from the set of numbered card below is 8. And the total number of possible outcomes is 15. So the probability equals 8 divided by 15. Example 5. Mr. Ahmed has a box of 25 calculators, but 5 of them do not work very well. What is the probability that the first calculator taken out of the box at random does not work very well. So um, you're required to write your fraction as simply as possible. Remember that the probability of an equally likely outcome or to calculate the probability, we simply do the number of ways possible divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So the total number of possible outcomes in this case equals 25 and the probability that the first calculator taken out of the box at random does not work very well equals 5 divided by 25. Because um, we're told that 5 of them do not work very well. So the number of ways possible, which is 5, divided by the total number of possible outcome, which is 25. When you simplify, you get 1 over 5. 